Hello friends and family and good morning from Memphis, Tennessee. Right behind me we have been staying at Elvis Presley's guest house at Graceland. Such an awesome hotel. But this morning I do want to do something a little bit different. We're going to head over to the meditation gardens over at Graceland. They are open to the public from 7.30 in the morning to 8.30 so you don't need a ticket to go over, pay your respects to Elvis Presley, Lisa Marie and the whole family. So it's really nice that they do that because the tickets do get a little bit pricey if you do plan on coming to visit Graceland. That being said, I do think that it's something you most definitely need to do if you are a fan of Elvis Presley. But before we get started, if you would subscribe and click the bell notification so you wear future uploads and live streams, we would greatly appreciate it. Another really great thing about staying here at the guest house, they do have shuttle buses which actually take you from the hotel over to Graceland ticketing. So that's really neat, very, very accommodating. And the room here has been very beautiful. And Elvis Presley's Graceland Mansion is actually just on the other side of that tree line there. All those really tall trees definitely kind of hide the mansion a little bit. But if you do drive on the road here in front, you can actually see it. And if you are staying right over here behind me at Elvis Presley's guest house, it is only about a five minute walk or so. So if you do want to take advantage of coming over here and pay your respects, it's like all flat too, like there's no hills, very easy to get to. The perfect way to start out our morning right here on Elvis Presley Boulevard in Memphis, Tennessee. Lots of hustle and bustle this morning though on Elvis Presley Boulevard, but right across the street, if you look closely on the right hand side there, you can see like the Graceland entrance. This is for the parking, which does take you to ticketing. It has a huge parking lot over there, but I do want to take a closer look here at Elvis's two private planes. They're right behind the trees over there and you can see them from the road, which is really cool. So the much taller plane across the street, you can actually see the insignia Lisa Marie, which is really awesome. So that's Elvis Presley's Lisa Marie right there. You can see a bunch of different Graceland banners. And then over here underneath that blue awning, that's the TCB. So they do have both of those. If you are taking a tour here at Graceland, you could actually step aboard the planes and take a closer look at TCB and the Lisa Marie. That being said, I just love that about walking here on Elvis Presley Boulevard. I think it's just crazy cool. Like you can walk past, you can actually see the Graceland Mansion, the Alisa Marie and the TCB, as well as the guest house. So really cool. It's just like not your average walk. It's really neat to see. And literally just right over here, you can see the gates of Graceland or a bunch of people who came and visited or just took advantage of coming in here, paying their respects to Elvis Presley, have taken the time to uh, sign the bricks. You could even sign the ground here at the gates of Graceland, but you can see like the rolling hills. The uh, Graceland Mansion is kind of way off, off in the distance. We will get a closer look when we go over by the meditation gardens, but I did bring a marker to uh, sign the wall here at Graceland. Actually, right over here at the stop sign, authorized Graceland vehicles only, we signed the uh, little pylon here, our last visit, Sable Family Vlogs, with the little YouTube button on the bottom section, but this is absolutely expansive, and they do, like, uh, power wash this and get rid of the name so that you can come so it's completely fresh on your visit here but it's just an amazing view here of Graceland you can just picture like Elvis Presley's vehicle just driving up there and you can see the Graceland mansion at the top of the hill and how beautiful is this like not only did somebody like sign their name but they also like airbrushed Elvis Presley onto there I think that looks really incredible but people put like Elvis lives your name on there the date that you came and visited Graceland yourself it's definitely like a little bit bone chilling though because I have seen so many pictures with Elvis Presley standing literally in front of this gate that I'm pointing the camera at right now. Like you have Elvis there playing the guitar and a ton of music notes. I could just picture him right here just standing there. That's so crazy cool. 
Okay, so I'm actually just making my way here up the walkway. You can see the Graceland Mansion up there on the hills. Elvis used to drive like his golf carts, everything up here. I can picture like the pink Cadillac just driving up that hill. This is so beautiful. Like everything is so lush and green right now. Just beautiful to see here at Graceland. The weather's incredible as well. But how about that? for a site, Elvis Presley's Graceland Mansion. But we're gonna head off to the right-hand section here. There's some signage for the meditation garden. That's where we're gonna go pay our respects to Elvis and his family. Get a closer look right here as we're walking to the meditation garden, the main house of Graceland with the lions in the front. I really love the pillars. That being said, I think a lot of people think it's actually smaller in person, but I personally feel like it's a very good size. If you took a tour of the mansion, it is very big inside. So we'll start out right here. Here's some of the grave markers in memory of Jesse Karen Presley, January 8th, 1935. They have that decorated beautifully with some flowers and different rocks. Like I was saying though, the whole family is uh, buried right here. This is Gladys Love Presley, April 25th, 1912 to August 14th, 1958. The wife of Vernon Elvis Presley, mother of Jesse, and then of course Elvis Presley. This here is decorated beautifully with some flowers. Look at that, they put Gladdy at the bottom. Just very, very nicely decorated. I do want to continue my way down here and check out all the tombs. There is Vernon Elvis Presley. That is Elvis Presley's father, April 10th, 1916 to June 26th, 1979. One grave over, of course, is Elvis Aaron Presley, January 8th, 1935 to August 16th, 1977. Son of Vernon Elvis Presley, Gladys Love Presley, and father, of course, to Lisa Marie Presley. But they have this really nice uh, candle lit back there to uh, Elvis in memoriam. Everything's beautifully decorated here as well with some different pictures, flowers, just very well done. And of course you do also have Minnie Mapes Presley, June 17th, 1890 to May 8th, 1980. So she survived quite a long time, very beautifully as well. Her grandchildren raised up to call and call her blessed, her husband also, and uh, praise this her, very, very nicely done in memory of Vernon Elvis with love. You have a little signage here for Minnie Mae, but even more flowers. She's located over to the left-hand side of Elvis Presley. You can see some really nice pictures here of Benjamin, Lisa Marie, some more people put those wooden signs with Lisa Marie, some teddy bears are out here, lots of flowers. The uh, meditation gardens are decorated so beautifully this morning here, like lots of rocks there with people's names on them. People really take the time to come out and pay their respects to the family. And of course right next to Lisa Marie is Benjamin. It's just so like sombering being here, like seriously, like Benjamin and Lisa Marie are right in front of me and Elvis just off in the distance. But again, decorated beautifully with the wood planks here with Benjamin's name. Let's actually take a closer look here at some of the pictures. You can see like uh, Benjamin and uh, Lisa Marie throughout the years. That is something else. There's some angels, some frogs, even more flowers here for Benjamin.
and literally right behind me you could actually see Elvis Presley's kidney bean shaped swimming pool like you can picture Elvis Presley himself just jumping off this smaller size diving board inside of the pool so this is like the uh, right hand side of the Graceland mansion decorated beautifully with a bunch of flowers as you could see though like everything is so lush and green over here on the uh, right hand side this is the uh, racquetball section this whole building Elvis Presley used to play racquetball on the inside of there but how about this wreath that they have on the small gates like how nice is this they took the time to put a picture of Elvis Presley on the inside of it Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add our names here to the uh, wall at Graceland. Actually, Brandy's going to do it. She's going to find a perfect spot. It was raining a little bit this morning, so everything's a little bit wet. But yeah, that's a really good spot. It's really cool how you can come out, though, and uh, add your names to the wall of Graceland. Some signage out here as well. It says Elvis Aaron Presley. Elvis Presley was born in Tupelo, Mississippi on January 8th, 1935. The son of Vernon and Gladys Presley. He moved to Memphis in 1948, soon after signing a contract with Sun Records. That's right here in Memphis, Tennessee. In 1954, he achieved tremendous popularity. You kind of can't see everything else at the bottom just because of stickers and uh, different guests signing their name there. But but it's a really nice placard that they do have right outside of the walls of Graceland. And in the bottom section here we have erected August 16th, 1982 by the Elvis Presley International Memorial Foundation and Shelby County Government. It's always a pleasure coming out here to Memphis, Tennessee, especially to visit Graceland, do the whole um, Graceland Mansion tour. And of course, you absolutely have to pay your respects to Elvis Presley and family over at the Meditation Gardens. Again, that's open from 7.30 to 8.30. Every morning, you don't need a ticket to go to Graceland, so you can come pay your respects to Elvis and his family. That being said, if you would like to further support our travels, please consider checking out our Patreon page. I'll let a link to that in the description box of this video. But if you like today's video, give it a big thumbs up. And as always, make today awesome.